Now at 11, big crowds once again lining up to get government assistance to offset expenses from Hurricane Irma. These long lines raising the question, how is the government making sure that our tax dollars are protected? We asked Hank Tester to look into that. He's live at Hard Rock Stadium with the answer. Hank. Well, yeah, they found fraud all right, but the uh, state had also put up some pretty decent firewalls to uh, uh, negate that uh, that potential. And uh, we talked to one of the state officials today, and uh, it was very interesting. Let's take a look. The DSNAP program has rolled to an end. 4.7 million Floridians received federal aid, a credit card-like voucher to make up for lost food due to power outages and lost wages during and after Hurricane Irma. $1.3 billion now in the hands of those eligible. Lots of money. And you'd think plenty of opportunity to scam. The government has already knows what areas had power outages. Applicants for the relief funds were interviewed about their losses. Department of Children and Families Regional Director spearheaded the project in Miami-Dade. If there are some suspicions during that interview, they're sent to an actual PBI, we call it, it's the fraud line. And then a more in-depth uh, interview is, is uh, conducted. DCF officials said they had state fraud investigators at each application site. And as of last week, they'd stopped nearly 10 million in suspected fraud. And in addition, when they leave with their card, the card is not loaded at that point with any money. It's, it's useless at that point. It takes 72 hours for act, actually to be activated. During that 72 hours, the DCF and feds do more cross-checking. And if representations don't add up, the card is never activated and... Fra providing the government with fraudulent information is a crime and it's not something that anyone <laughs> wants to deal with. Well, the benefits that people picked up out here, a family of three would pick up around oh, $700. Now, here at the Hard Rock, and you guys are talking about the turnout. Believe it or not, in three days, they served 78,000 people right in there. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News. Back to you.